From LA Late News Headquarters in Santa Monica, this is Mornings LA Late. It's a big morning of Mornings LA with huge news about your stocks, your bonds, your crypto, and your four stimulus checks of 2022. And today's recording, we go over the incredible news as one of the major U.S. corporations in America announces layoffs, layoffs, and also corporate freezes, meaning that employees will not be able to apply for new jobs. They're laying off the ones they have right now, and the other ones can't come knocking on the door. Which company is it? It's Tesla. And this is what I told you was going to be happening. The latest details is why you need to get a force stimulus check in every U.S. state. I got it for you. These four stimulus checks in every U.S. state are coming up in this recording. Stay with me. Step one, subscribe. Step two, become a member. And step three, get that incredible newsletter Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time via the YouTube alert system. In today's broadcast on the shores of Santa Monica, California for a beautiful June 4th, 2022, we're going to go over those checks. We're going to go over the Build Back Better Act. That would give you the fifteen dollars to $80,000 of additional checks. Then we'll be turning back to the situation with gasoline, getting really interesting, as the president may potentially have a deal on gasoline, but is it morally on point or not? All the latest details on that front as well. Then over to the Build Back Better Act and the economic downturn of this economy. No less than a few days ago, Jamie Dimon, the head of J.P. Morgan Chase, repeated my predictions of this economy 90 days out. Not the recession, but a hurricane of economic downturn. That's why that gasoline deal that's going to be detailed in today's recording live on air is great news for you. Also great news is the ability to get that Build Back Better Act out the door. That will give you additional checks on top of the checks I have for you today. But you can't wait because the economic downturn is happening. We'll have big data on the housing market crash of 2022, the stock market crash of 2022, the recession of 2023, all featured in today's recording. Step one is to become a subscriber. Step two, become a member. Step three, stay with the second half of this recording because we're going to go over all those four stimulus checks in every U.S. state. You qualify. We're going to go over all that credible details as the toast is toasted, the butter is buttering, and the cough is brewing. It's a big, bold, beautiful live broadcast, and it's Mornings LA starting right now. And good morning, everybody. I hope you're having a beautiful day. It is June 4th, 2022 from the shores of Santa Monica, California. How are you? We have a brand new breaking news report today, and we got a big show tonight on Evening's L.A. in prime time. Just huge tonight. But the great news as we start a big morning and a big day, a weekend upon us, is that a force stimulus check is in every U.S. state, and I'm going to show you how to get it. You ain't going to see this anywhere else except here on this channel. That is because I found the checks for you, and I made it a reality. Step one, subscribe. Step two, become a member. And step three, get that incredible newsletter. These are checks for you. Single individual, $75,000 or less. Married couple, $150,000 or less. If you're on benefits, go get it. And these incredible checks are coming up later in this recording. But first, we're going to start with the latest details on that Build Back Better Act. That will give you fifteen dollars to $80,000 of additional checks on top of that. The negotiations underway between Joe Manchin and Chuck Schumer. Which checks would survive and which ones wouldn't? I have breaking news on that front as well. Fifteen dollars to $80,000. Well, with the $25,000 of free home health of, of money for the purchase of your first home, would that survive? Yes. The downward spiral of the U.S. economy, the housing market crash of 2022, is being felt in West Virginia, Joe Manchin's home state. So absolutely he would do that. The $250 billion of free home health care? No, because that expands Medicare. The MSC checks monthly or multiple IRS checks, $2,000 a first month, $1,000 thereafter? Yes. And then what about all those incredible clusters? Well, in the second cluster, he's not going to do paid leave. In the third cluster, where we have all the money for the seniors that expands Medicare, he's not going to do that. And then everything in first cluster would survive, like the hazard pay, the CTC, children's checks, the nutrition, the home repairs. We're going to go over all these incredible checks in prime time tonight. But here is why things change very dramatically today. <laughs> why? Because on Friday, 
a major report was released by Janet Yellen, head of Treasury. And this report has last been released in the 1980s. What do the reports say? That Medicare will not run out of money for at least another 75 years. Joe Manchin, read my lips. Medicare will not run out of money for another 75 years. This may change the negotiations on the Build Back Better Act. Because Joe Manchin said he did not want to do these items for Medicare expansion because he says Medicare is running out of money. Well, if it ain't running out of money, let's spend it. Dental, vision, hearing, lowering the eligibility age of Medicare. We'll have more about why. This major report released by Janet Yellen, and the timing is just a little bit great, that signals that maybe all that expansion of Medicare may get done because Medicare is not running out of money until 75 years from now. That major report just released on Friday. The Build Back Better Act is supported by two other elements. The first one is the midterm elections. You do not vote in November. You vote three months ahead of time by mail. And they need the Democrats to get these checks to your hands before you vote by mail because they need to retain control of the Senate. Georgia Senate seat by, occupied by Raphael Warnock is up for contention. And they need to solidify a win there. They do it by doing Build Back Better Act. Number two that the economic downturn of this U.S. economy is going to be very dramatic, and they need to get you assistance. What is that economic downturn, and where is that economy today? So let's go over the breaking news. And yes, this just happened in the last few hours. You're here for the first time on the show right now, live on L.A. Elon Musk, head of Tesla, says that he's very worried about the economy. That's his words. Very worried about how bad this economy is getting. And he has announced the following for Tesla. One, major layoffs. Two, major hiring freeze. If you don't know what a hiring freeze is, you perhaps were not alive during the last recession. A hiring freeze is what happens in a recession. Businesses suddenly say, we are laying off who we have, and we're also not hiring anyone else for many years to come. So don't come knocking at our door looking for a job. This is where the situation changes very dramatically. And it all brings it back to you, the Purple Power. In the last few nights on Evening to LA, which airs tonight at 5 o'clock Pacific Standard Time, I've been asking viewers, have you seen a downward spiral of the labor market? The question I've been asking viewers is, when you go into the big box retailer, and I'll say right now in the live chat, yes or no, when you go in the big box retailer to go to pay for the item at the checkout, are you seeing less employees at the checkout? Are you being left with just the scanner checkout machine and suddenly it's no longer three or four employees at checkout? It's zero? Viewers have been saying yes, yes, over the last few weeks. And that signals, in my opinion, that the labor numbers we are getting in on this channel from Department of Labor and the CBO may be not timely, may be delayed. I've been saying over the last few weeks there's something wrong. Here's what's at issue is that the unemployment claims were 200,000 last Thursday. Not a good number, but not an astronomically bad number. Then the number of job creations, not a good number as well. But the number that was buried in the Friday jobs report, which I forgot to air on camera, was the following. The number one reason why people went on unemployment this month or in the late weeks of May was not because they were fired, point blank, but because the small business owner had closed its doors. Small business owners are losing their jobs, are losing their businesses left and right in the month of May, and that is causing major unemployment disruption. Now, if the labor numbers are weaker than we think they are, then the downward spiral in this economy is more pronounced than we ever thought. That's what I've been reporting. In the last few days, we've been hearing analysts saying, you know what, the economy is really good. What the part of the economy is that's not good is the housing market crash of 2022. And I think this is what we're going to see for weeks to come, that analysts who have it really wrong are saying the bad part of the economy is the housing market crash of 2022 and that the labor is really good. I don't believe the labor is good. I see from the viewership of this channel and the live chats daily that they see people being laid off. They see their neighbors and friends being told that go home and don't come back. We're laying you off. And then they say they're going into the big box retailers all across the United States. And they say there suddenly are no employees in the stores. They've been laid off. We've been waiting for the data of layoffs that are astronomical at a corporate level for weeks. 
started when Walmart said three weeks ago that they brought back too many employees to the floor to work after COVID and that they don't need that many employees. Walmart did not announce layoffs and did not announce hiring freezes, but that's the language that comes before it happens. Today's announcement from Tesla is exactly what I expect corporate America to start doing. Laying off employees, closing stores, and saying, hey, hiring freeze. Don't come off knocking for a, a job at our business because we're not hiring anyone for a long time. We had some, seen some initial inroads of this in the tech sector, when, which started with Snap no less than two weeks ago, the corporate uh, tech giant here out of Southern California saying, we're not hiring a lot more people, 500 total than the rest of the year, but we're also laying off people. And that suggests all support for Build Back Better Act. Build Back Better Act is supported when the economic downturn at issue is hitting hard and strong. The other part of the equation is what happened in the mid part of this last week. Since February, I've been seeing a lot of economic predictions, and one of, well, one of them is the downward spiral of this U.S. economy, a recession starting in 2023 and then for two years. I also said in the month of February and thereafter that there's a storm out to sea. There's a storm out to sea. You can feel the wind picking up on land, and that storm is about to come close to the landfall. That storm out to sea is the economic downturn of this U.S. economy. The, the storm out to sea is the recession. And so then what happened this week? Jamie Dimon, head of J.P. Morgan Chase, repeated verbatim nearly my words. One of the most beloved and esteemed heads of a bank in America said, there's a hurricane out to sea, out down the road, and that a hurricane's about to touch land. And we're getting very close to that hurricane hitting, and you don't know how severe it is. Same prognosis, same uh, prediction, same time horizon. Let's look at that time horizon right now because it's very important. 90 days out is what most people are talking about with this downward spiral. In 90 days, a lot of things could happen. Number one, the unemployment numbers could surge out of control. Number two, the housing market crash of 2022 will be seen very clearly in 90 days because the data we have from housing right now is back from February before the mortgage rates surge out of control. What about the stock market crash of 2022? Yes, that stock market crash of 2022 will become more pronounced in the next 90 days. And that is why in the next 90 days, you don't want to wait to get a stimulus check. You want to get that stimulus check right now. And that is why a forced stimulus check is in every U.S. state. It started in March, and I found it for you. Step one, subscribe. Step two, become a member. And step three, get that incredible newsletter Monday through Friday. Let's go over the data of that right now. There's different ways to get stimulus checks. One is by Congress, another is by executive order, and the third is by the states. Back in the month of March, you said, LA, can you find us some stimulus checks? Because they haven't gotten that Build Back Better Act done, and I looked and I found it. Executive order for stimulus checks, number one. State for stimulus checks, number two. Every U.S. state, absolutely. Longtime viewer Kat says, LA, you do eligibility really well. Eligibility is important. You need to know if you qualify it for it. Single, married, get it. Children, not children. Go get it. On benefits, go get it. SSI, SSDI, veterans benefits, go get it. Rent, own, go get it. How do you get it? Step one, subscribe to this channel. Step two, hit that membership link under the video. Join here. Step three, stay with me in the second half of this video. We're going to go over these incredible checks. But first, let's take a detour for just a second to go over the energy crisis and a major deal happening with the White House. This is where it gets really strange. I have more about tonight on Evie's Elliot in prime time. There's a potential deal on gasoline that could finally bring us back to those wonderful cheaper prices on gasoline at the pump pre-COVID levels. What is the deal being pursued at? I got to tell you, I'm going to first go over the economic data of it, the financial impact on you, and then the moral issue at hand. And it's the moral issue, which is the hardest one. Back in October, Joe Biden and yourself and me all understood that there was 100,000 Russian troops at the Ukrainian border. We all knew there was a potential likelihood that Ukraine could be invaded. And what did Joe Biden do in October? He told Janet Yellen, his Treasury Secretary, prepare for a balance to get oil from somewhere else if Putin evades Ukraine. Did Janet Yellen get oil lined up somewhere else at the time? She did not. Then by March of 2022, Putin evaded Ukraine. Did the White House get oil lined up somewhere then? No, they did not. And how much oil did we suddenly lose? 
By the time the whole parts of the equation were lined up, we were losing three and a half million barrels of gasoline a day. That's where we are still today. The White House had options. Venezuela, Brazil, United Arab Emirates, OPEC Plus, and also, uh, and also um, Saudi Arabia. And so what did they do? The White House initially reached out to Venezuela, then stopped in their tracks. Venezuela is not producing gasoline to the United States for many years because of human rights violations. They're under embargo. Number two, the United States could have reached out to Brazil, but did not. They're also under embargo because of human rights violations. Their oil is not available to us either. Number three, the United States could have reached out to UAE, United Arab Emirates, a longtime partner of our country. No embargo against them, but the White House did not. The White House could have reached out to OPEC Plus, which includes UAE, and asked them to increase production. The White House did not. And in these weeks, OPEC Plus cut production. That is why of the three and a half million barrels of gasoline missing per day, half of one million barrels is from OPEC Plus cutting production. So what happened? What happened was last weekend, we had major turning events on the price of gasoline you're paying at the pump. What happened? Number one, the Western allies led by the European Commission banned Russian oil finally after months of negotiations done on the Sunday of Memorial Day weekend. Banned that Russian oil. Number one. Number two, they had no oil backed up for it. <laughs> oh boy. Number three, days later, OPEC Plus said, maybe we will ban the Russian oil. Interesting. And then by the end of the week came the major announcement that no one saw coming. OPEC Plus announced it's going to increase production of gasoline astronomically. My goodness, here was the solution. OPEC Plus finally going to flood the market with a lot of replacement oil. That would bring down the gasoline. The White House, and upon that news that came in on Thursday, had a press conference in the Oval, in the press room of the Oval Office. And what was the reaction? Really not pleasant. Well, there we go, was basically the presser. The White House didn't thank Saudi Arabia, didn't thank OPEC Plus, didn't thank anyone for increasing production of gasoline, because this is what we needed to bring down the price of gasoline. Really peculiar. Now, if you think that's peculiar, then we get to the moral issue. On Friday, the United States heard something which I had to take a double take on. The President of the United States on Friday announced you know what? To rekindle our relationship with Saudi Arabia, I'm going over there in the next few days to get some oil. Uh, excuse me? <laughs> oh, oh, excuse me? Wait, wait a second. Step, step back here. This doesn't make any sense. Saudi Arabia is a human rights violator. That's why their oil is being embargoed by us. Uh, Venezuela, OPEC, is a, a human rights violator. That's why they're being embargoed by us. Brazil, same situation. And then Iran. The nuclear warheads and being embargoed by us. Out of all these countries, after months of doing much of nothing, suddenly we say we're going to forget about the human rights violators of one of the five options and go make a deal with them? Okay, this makes no sense. It makes no sense for a moral compass. It makes no sense for an economic purpose. You could have forgotten about their human rights violations last year and done the deal then. Now you're just going to brush away their human rights violations and go do a deal with them? Well, it's great economic news for you, but not morally good news for the country as a whole because this is why we have embargoes in the first place. So we're not going to do embargoes because of human rights violations that don't do them. And they're just going to lift them when you need gasoline. Then what's the point of having them in the first place? Makes no sense. But it could potentially bring down the price of gasoline dramatically back to those pre-pandemic levels. That is good news. The great news is that I have found a force almost check in every U.S. state for you, for you, and you qualify. In the second half of this video, we're going to go over those incredible checks. What do you need to do? Step one, subscribe to this channel because you can't miss a single video. You can't miss a single recording. There is so much breaking news happening on a daily basis. Step one, subscribe. Step two, become a member. The link is under the video. Join now the channel. And when you join as a member, there's a new feature. On the front of this channel, it features your face when you become a member. Yeah, so for your 
profile pic, make sure you have a pic of yourself, your cat, your dog, your llama, because that llama will appear on the front of this channel's YouTube page. And you'll proudly be depicted there as a brand new member. Hundreds of new members every day. Join right now because you cannot pass off these incredible checks. In the second half of the video, we're going to go over all these incredible checks. We'll briefly go over what's happening with student loan debt forgiveness. Then we'll be going over what's happening with the Federal Reserve and that SS300. We got a big second half and a lot of breaking news as Mornings LA continues from the shores of Santa Monica, California today. I'll see you back in 60 seconds. If you want money right now, not five days from now and not five weeks from now, then reach out to the community page. The volunteers can help you find that money for rent and utilities. That's at news.la.com forward slash community. The community page features a series of volunteers who are viewers like you. They can help you find rent, utilities, SNAP, food benefits, mortgage assistance, and help you with eviction moratorium questions as well. Their Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram individuals reach out to them and indicate the city and state you're from, and they'll get back to you shortly. That's a community page. Volunteers working for you, viewers helping one another. Stay with LA for more. Join LA Late Daily for the excitement of the new LA Late Live Daily. The excitement starts on mornings LA Late at 9 a.m. Home LA Late returns at 11 a.m. daily. And then afternoons LA Late at 1 p.m. Join us daily as the excitement continues live from Santa Monica on LA Late. And the excitement continues on a big, bold, beautiful day. Live from the Santa Monica, California. How are you? It's a beautiful day here, June 4th, 2022, from the shores of Santa Monica, California. Have you, hope you're having a beautiful morning. And in the second half of this video, we're going to go over those incredible four stimulus checks in every U.S. state. Step one is to subscribe. Step two, to get a, be, become a member, the link is under the video. Join this channel, Purple Hawk, Purple Power, Cal Casino VIP. And step three, get that incredible newsletter, Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Let's go over the details of these incredible checks starting right now. Back in March of this year, viewers said, Ellie, can you find me a forced stimulus check? They're not getting this Build Back Better Act done. And I looked and I found it for you. Remember, there's different ways you can get checks, stimulus checks, by Congress, by the president, by executive order, one of the most popular expressions on this channel two years ago, by executive order. And from the states, when the states have leftover money that the spender use it on you. So I found those checks by executive orders and from the states. They're in every state. And you qualify for them. Single, married, with children, without children. On benefits, not on benefits. Rent, own, absolutely. We're going to go over all of these incredible checks starting right now. I get big checks. And so what's important to understand is the bigger the check, the more financial independence you have. And that first check, which I label as check A on this channel, is huge. It is $6,500 to $12,000. Let's look at that incredible check starting right now. It is a $6,500 to $12,000 check. Go get it. Single individual, $75,000 less, you qualify. Married couple, $150,000 less, you qualify. If you're on benefits, go get it. If you are single with children, without children, go get it. Every U.S. state, it's a forced stimulus check. It's called the homeowner's grant check. How do you get this monster $6,500 to $12,000 check? Step one, subscribe to this channel. Go right on this video and hit that subscribe button. You don't want to miss a single video. You don't want to miss a single newsletter. Step two, become a member. The link is under the video. Join the channel and become a member. Hundreds of people new, new per day. You want to become a member? People in the live chat that have emoji of a hawk behind their name, they are members. Purple Hawk, Purple Power, or Calcino VIP. Number three, get that newsletter. The newsletter is delivered to you Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, via the YouTube Alert System. When you get that newsletter, you go down in there to you find check A at the very top of the newsletter, and there is a link to apply online. Yes, check A is an online application check. 
you click the link and you go right in there for the federal government. Then you choose your state. Then you choose the homeowner's grant, weatherizing grant check, and you go get it. But you're not going to stop there yet. No, 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 no. You're going to go get check B. Fifteen to eighty thousand dollars for stimulus check. Astronomical monster amount of money. Viewers are averaging sixty six thousand to eighty thousand dollars. Go get this incredible check. Step one is open is become a subscriber. Step two, become a member. Step three, go down that membership newsletter to you find check B. You know the routine. Go down to you see check B, and then there it is. Click the link. Go right in and apply. And viewers have been getting these astronomical sums of money regularly. You're not going to be done there yet because you're going to go get check C as well. Wow. Check C is an MSC on average. Monthly or multiple I stimulus check. $2,000 over 12 months averaging out. It is for, yes, renters. Also mortgage assistance, utilities, and more. It is astronomical. Viewers have been getting on average of $45,000 from this for a very long time. And this has been gotten by viewers of this channel, Chexy, since December 2020. Since December 2020, viewers have been getting Chexy. Why? Because it was initially purple <laughs> back in December 2020. December 2020. Viewers said, Allied, it's the winter. It's cold. Heating oil's through the roof. I'm afraid I'm going to be evicted. Can you give me some money? There was not a lot of money at the time, and I found it. I found it, thank goodness. $250,000 for rent, utilities, and mortgage assistance. Check C stuff. And at the time, though, I had a big, big piece of document I found, exclusive, of what was going to be a new piece of legislation for 2021, the American Rescue Plan. I called it third stimulus. I coined the expression. I said, if this becomes law, all this purple money I'm training you to get now, you're going to be really well trained and educated how to get it when it becomes a law next year. It became law, and immediately what happened was you were able to pounce. I don't know if we're having problems with the stream connectivity right now at the moment. I'm seeing some alerts come up. Let me jump into the live chat and see if we're having some stream connectivity. If we are, the video will re-air later on. Uh, ooh, it says there's a stream connectivity problem. Uh, now it says it's good. Let's see if we are still connected. <laughs> oh, now it says we're excellently connected. So uh, if you are in the live chat and you say, I look wonderful, then I will give you a shout out. <laughs> it says we're connected. So uh, maybe we have a little bit of a hiccup on a weekend morning. Um, what happened? Then when Third Simmons became a law, there was all this incredible sums of money for the same items. Your skill set was ready to rock and roll, and you came in and you bounced. You did not get, on average, $15,000 as I thought you were going to get. You got, on average, $45,000. let us look at the success stories that the viewers got at the time, and if you're able to see me well in the live chat, post in the live chat right now. These are the numbers you got for the rent of the time. $20,000 all the way up to $27,000. Uh, astronomical sums of money. Then, um, when we looked at the money for the for the rent uh, for the utilities, it went all the way up to fifteen thousand dollars, even more incredible. Then, when we look at the money for the snap, twenty five thousand dollars, yes, uh, per year for Mark's brother in law, up to, up to ten years, a quarter million dollars. When we look at the combo numbers, even higher. Oh my goodness, Nisi was at twenty three thousand. She has gotten eight thousand dollars. Uh, per she has gotten eight thousand dollars consistently every few weeks. She's now nearly fifty thousand dollars. Mark was at thirty two thousand at the time. Then he went back as I told him to do it. He went to fifty thousand. Then he went to a hundred thousand. Then he went to an incredible one hundred and sixty six thousand. How did he get to one hundred sixty six thousand? Because he went back and got the incredible money from Chuck B. Uh, they. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I see people back in the live chat. Uh, and the connectivity is restored. So that is good. Uh, then when we go to Lorraine, she went from 105 to 120. Just astronomical sums. So how do you get this incredible check C? Incredible check C, you go down on the membership newsletter. Go right down the membership newsletter. Until you see check C. When you see it, you are going to make the calls. Yeah, so in the case of membership newsletter, for Check C, you're calling on this one. And you go right down that membership newsletter. It's going to tell you who to call, what to say, and when to say it. It's incredible, and that is that great Check C. 
uh, go get it and do not wait. Absolutely wonderful. Now, let's go over some other things I want to touch on that are brand new to this morning, today on mornings. Number one, what do you got to do? First, you got to hit that subscribe button. Hit that subscribe button because you don't miss a single video, video throughout the day or a newsletter. Number two, become a member where it says join here, Purple Hawk, Purple Power, Casino VIP. And remember, new members are getting their names, their faces featured on the front of this YouTube channel. Number three, there's a little bell. When you see that bell at the front of the channel, hit that bell and make sure it's set to all notifications, A-L-L, -L, so you get notifications when anything is sent out. Number Finally, that membership newsletter. It's delivered Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time via the YouTube alert. So at 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, look for that alert that says New LA Post. Then go down in the, in the post, in the alert, and it says click here to go to the post. There's a little button that says click here to go to the post. You go right in, and that is the newsletter. 99.99% of, of viewers are able to find all this, but there's always that 1% has a problem. So here's the solutions for you. Number one, send me a private message on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash allied news, and I will send you a wonderful self-help video that explains how to use the newsletter, how it operates, and where it's located. Again, send me that private message. I turn around and I have a turnaround time about four hours from when you send me the message. Next, the very, very uh, abundance of anyone, uh, I just butchered that sentence, of the people that have had problems finding the alert for the newsletter, the six of the six that I've gotten those messages for in the last week, 100% of them were people who had the wrong time zone. Yeah, the wrong time zone. I'm seeing nearly 100% of the very, very few people that are having problems finding the newsletter are people using the wrong time zone. The membership newsletter is delivered Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, Los Angeles time. And you need to remember that's Los Angeles time. So what time zone are you in and when do you get that alert? Let's go over the details. If you're the West Coast, you're Pacific Standard Time, like Oregon, Washington, California. If you're the Midwest, then you may be CT, Central Standard Time. You're two hours later, so you're not 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. You're 9 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And if you're the East Coast, you're three hours later than me. You're not 7 o'clock. You're 10 o'clock, like Georgia, New York, and New Jersey, and Florida. You're 10 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. So make sure you have the right time zone. And there you go. Finally, a, a, a statement of, uh, of tough love. There are some people who think that the federal government should do the delivery of the checks in a way that's very, very simplistic. Basically, they want them to be delivered to your front door, uh, and then you, um, <laughs> in regards to check A, B, or C, they want it to be delivered to your front door, you fill out an application, and then you go to the cupboard and pull out some cash and give them the cash. Yeah, it just it doesn't work that way. Uh, you know, when you go to buy from Amazon or Walmart, they have an operation at issue. And this is how you buy from Amazon or Walmart online. There's no version of that that you can water it down. So for, for, for the very, very small group of people who think, why doesn't this come via text message? Why does this come via the mail? Why does this come? This is the way the federal government has set it up. And what is important for you is to pivot. I taught you the skill set in December 2020. At the time, a lot of viewers were not comfortable with making phone calls. They had never made phone calls. And when they did, they got the money. And then they're like, okay, I'm fine with that. Thank you for teaching me that skill set. This is a skill set. You got to do what is required of you to get the money. You can do it. And it's a skill set. Don't have the federal government adapt itself to you. You adapt itself to how they're doing it. Just the same as if you go to Amazon or, or Walmart. However, they want you to make that purchase online on, on a phone. That's the way you modify your behavior to adapt to the situation. And then you get the money. And that is how life operates. Now, let's go that soon long dot forgiveness. <laughs> this is, a, is an interesting one. Uh, the president has said, no way. I am not doing, I am not doing $50,000 student loan debt forgiveness. Uh, the advocates say, do it. He says, no, do it, do it. No, I'm not doing it. Mm -hmm. This tug and war has gone on for nearly a year. They all need to move on. <laughs> this is my message to all of them. They all need to move on. The president needs to just forgive the $10,000 and move on. 
stop trying to make everyone happy. Just move on because they aren't happy. And the people want fifty thousand dollars. Move on. He ain't gonna do fifty thousand. He's just made that very clear for a year and a half. You can't convince a man to do something he doesn't want to do. He doesn't want to do fifty thousand. He wants to do ten thousand. Move on. Let's go to this next subject matter. Let's go to that SS three hundred. Now this is where it gets interesting. Joe Biden needs to make that swap from cold to inflation now because the inflation is hot, high, eight percent. But how long? We have new data on that front. The Federal Reserve will have that FOMC meeting in the month of June. In the month of June, they'll do a half basis point increase is what I'm predicting. What about after that? I'm predicting the following future for the Federal Reserve. The next three meetings of the FOMC, I'm predicting half, half, and quarter. Do I have any confirmation about my reporting? Yeah, I do. Lana Brainard, who's number two of the Federal Reserve, says the next three meetings, she says that it's likely there could be three hikes. She would not give the numbers, but when asked whether two more 50s would be possible, she said, yeah, it's possible. She specifically also spoke about something that I have an issue about, which is that third meeting from now, June, and then you know the, the, the two after June. She's not sure what's going to happen at that third. This is where it brings it back to you, me, stimulus, Jamie Dimon, Elon, and all this. The 90 days. The 90 days. I've been talking to you a while about this 90-day change of this economy. 90 days at this point is now September. 90, by September, this economy is going to look dramatically different. And that's what Leo Brando says. She doesn't know what's going to look like by the time they have to do that third rake hike. What I've been saying to you is that in 90 days by September, there will be a stimulus stampede. That stimulus stampede will involve people who are in a different economic situation now than they were uh, then than they are now. What's going to happen? People are going to be laid off. People were in the live chat during this, during this broadcast earlier, and they said they saw people getting laid off again. People are going to get laid off. And they're going to be looking for PUA, FPUC. I don't have it. I don't have FPUC. I don't have PUA. It doesn't exist anymore. Business owners, as we saw earlier in this video, are going to lose their businesses. They're going to look for an EI deal grant, that EI deal loan, those wonderful things for 2020. I don't have them anymore. They don't exist anymore. And so people are going to be stampeding on this channel looking for stimulus. Thank goodness I have check A, check B, check C. And oh, yes, I have check D. In the membership newsletter for members in about 24 states. That's about $2,000 a month. But beyond that, I don't know how long these checks are going to be around. And that is why you can't wait to get these checks. What's at issue is 90 days out from now, situation is going to be very different. The unemployment situation is going to be worse. The labor market is going to be worse. Elon Musk now basically confirming what I've been saying, what you've been saying for several weeks. That there is going to be layoffs coming that there is going to be higher increases coming, business is going to be shuttered, meaning close the door, and then we're going to have surging uh, rates, mortgage rates, loan rates. The auto industry is going to get worse. Mortgage rates is going to surge even higher. No one's going to be able to afford a home. That's going to be called the housing cr crash of 2022, to be more pronounced. And then we're not even to the stock market. That needs to go down another 20 30%. Because in a recession, you go down 48%. We're only down 22% overall. That, And we're not even to the gasoline part of that equation either. We're presuming there's no problem with gasoline going forward and that's solved. That is why in 90 days from now, the situation is going to be a lot worse. Here's what I want you to know. And I'm making this clear tonight on Ian's LA. It's a major show tonight. You don't want to miss it. It's 5 o'clock Pacific Standard Time, 8 o'clock tonight. It's a great show tonight. I want you to understand that in 90 days from now, the economic downturn of this U.S. economy will be very, very clear for all of us. But it may not be what's, quote, called a recession. I don't want you to get hung up on words, because sometimes people are. I don't want you to think, will that be the recession? Is this recession? When is the recession? You're going to have an, out, an economic downturn, very, very significant, very hurtful, of this economy, and it may not be the recession yet. Economic downturn means bad problems with unemployment, bad problems with, jo with jobs, bad problems with business ownership, bad problems with gasoline, bad problems with growth of business, bad problems with housing, auto, stock market, and yet it may still not yet be a recession. That recession, in my prediction, is not coming until next year. So I don't want you to think it's good because we're not a recession. I don't want you to think it's good because it's not something that's worse 
oh, it's going to be bad. It's going to be very bad, but it may not be a recession. Takeaway is you need to grab all this incredible money. And finally, one of the messages I don't say all the time, but I don't think it needs to be repeated all the time, is that I have no idea whether Congress or the president or anyone will ever give you stimulus in 2023 or 2024 for a recession. I don't even know if there will be stimulus for a recession. And if that recession is so bad, a lot of people are going to need it. That is why you got to hoard the cash right now. It's sort of like there's cash on the table. And that table, there's not that many people around the table right now looking for that cash. But in a year from now, oh boy. That is why you need to get that financial independence right today and grab that cash. Step one, do not wait. Do not wait. What are you doing? Step one, but subscribe to this channel. Step two, become a member right today. Go under the video, become a member. Purple Hawk, Purple Power Cow, so you know VIP. Step three, become a, get that four symbols check in every U.S. state. Go into that membership newsletter and go get it. And then join me throughout the day because the videos will continue. Evenings LA tonight will be brand new at 5 o'clock Pacific Standard Time. Coming up next at 11 a.m. is Home LA that goes over routing times for checks. Then we have the 1 o'clock afternoon show, the 3 o'clock afternoon show. Then we have the brand new Evenings LA tonight at 5 o'clock. And the shows continue thereafter throughout the night. From the shores of Santa Monica, California, God bless. Thank you for joining me on a day in which a lot of breaking news and we're just getting started. Stay informed, stay focused. The toast was toasting. The butter is buttering. Stay with LA for more.